Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Teacher. How are you telling me? Tell me, please. Yes. The exercise you need to. Eh, no puedo hacer el ejercicio del gerundio. But is the exercise in the platform? Or, yeah. Or are exercise? In the platform. Ah, what number is? Mm. This moment, please. Mm. Okay. Is mm -hmm. two uh, unit two exercise three dos punto cuatro es el que no me sale. Vale. Vamos a hacer mm -hmm. una cosa. Como ya es la casi la hora de iniciar la clase, al finalizar eh, me escribe. Tiene mi número, ¿verdad? No, no sí, vale. sí. El... sí. Vale. Entonces escríbame y yo le ayudo con mucho gusto. Ok, gracias. Uh -huh. En el 2.4, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, sí. Es que si ahorita me entretengo con eso, entonces no vamos a... No vamos a... Tenemos tanto okay. que ver ahora. <risa> ok. Pero al final con mucho gusto. Les ayudo a, a, al que tenga dudas con mucho gusto. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Is it time to start the class? Yes, I'm fine, teacher. What ok. You? I'm fine, too. Can you tell me? How was your weekend? I'm fine because I have been a lot of things with my family. <laughs> oh, excellent. What about Iris? How was your weekend, Iris? My weekend is very good, but I am tired. Oh, what kind of activities did you have? Yes, a uh, different activities. With with my mom and my and my children. Okay, take care. Cuidándolos or what? Ah, oh, no, no. Uh, no. How do I... you say uh, paseo? Travel. Yeah, travel. Or go to, maybe go to hello, the park. Good evening. Go to the hello, Byron. Or go to the, the beach. Park. No, the park. Oh, go to the park. Okay. Excellent. What about Cecilia? How was your weekend, Cecilia? Uh, fine, fine. Uh, supermarket, the shopping, supermarket. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, working. Así. Entre okay. Descanso, mm -hmm. <laughs> Excellent. What about, let me see, Carlos Fernando? How was your weekend, Carlitos? So, so. So, so. so, so. What kind of activities did you do on weekend? Uh, no much, but I am sick. Ah. Uh, Are you sick? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Do you have the flu? Uh, como un poquito más fuerte que flu. Ah, ok. Do you have cough? <coughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mucho. Yes. <laughs> It's terrible, but I'm sorry to hear that. But the It's most okay. important that you are you are here. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Now, Thank what you. about Arsenio? How was your weekend, Arsenio? Good evening, the show. Good evening. Um, So beautiful, so, so pretty in my weekend. Okay, what kind of activities did you did you do on weekend? Um, I went to uh, I don't know how to say uh, cascada. Cascada. Oh, yeah. in, in which place? Yeah, it's so okay. pretty. Oh, excellent. Now, what about Aisa? How was your weekend, Aisa? Mm. 
Yep. Okay, maybe she doesn't hear. Now, what about Sandra? How was your weekend, Sandra? Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Um, my weekend was uh, very uh, relaxed. Relaxed. On Saturday, yes, on Saturday I stay at home. I spend time with my family. Excellent. Um, Sunday, yes, Sunday um, I go out in the evening with my husband. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Nice. Now it's the time to start the class. Yeah. Okay. Me es difícil a saludarlos a todos, pero los que los que me acuerdo les pregunto, right? <laughs> But there is no problem. Now it's the time to start the class. Did you remember about our last class? What was our topic? Did you remember what was or which was our topic about last class? ¿Qué discutimos en la clase pasada? ¿De qué hablamos? ¿De qué se trató la clase pasada? It was difficult or easy? I think so, teacher, comparison with adjective and nouns. Comparison, yes. Another, another opinions? <clears throat> What other topic we saw? more and or less than. Yes, comparative, comparison. Can you tell me one sentence using comparison? Yes. Only one, please. Is uh, working is a lawyer is more stressful than working as a mechanic. Working as a lawyer is more stressful than working as a mechanic. Okay, excellent. Now, can you tell me one sentence using nouns? Yes. Did you do the exercises that I send you? Hicieron los ejercicios que les envié al grupo. O no, se les olvidó. Ok. Esos ejercicios que les envié son muy importantes para que puedan aprender bien la gramática. Entonces hay que aprovecharlos. Hay que aprovecharlos y hacerlos para que puedan, que les puede, les quede bien clara la gramática. Ok. ¿Quiénes hicieron los ejercicios que les envié? Mi teacher. Ok. ¿Quién más? Hay teacher, pero no sé si están Mi teacher. Ok. Teacher. Tell me. Uh, I don't only the first exercise. Can you repeat, please? I don't only the first exercise. Ah, the first exercise. Okay, and then I invite you to continue working in, in the exercises too, because are very important and the, the, this kind of exercises are, are important to you because this is, you need continuous learning, right? Now, the class for today starts with, with a listening. Listening summer jobs. Listening summer jobs. Ese tema nos quedó pendiente de la, de la clase anterior, por eso se lo voy a poner ahorita. Please pay, atten pay attention and try to write in your notebook some important, important information. Okay. Now, please pay attention. This is a listening about summer jobs. Summer jobs. I put you only once. 
let me see. How are you working this summer, Carlos? Oh, I am working as a tutor in a learning center for kids. Interesting. What kinds of things do the kids do there? Well, they work on subjects they need help in. Uh, mainly math and English. Is your job hard? No, not at all. The kids work on computers most of the time. We have to help them get started and be there when they run into problems. Do you enjoy it? Oh, yes. Working with kids is so much more fun than working with adults. And I get to choose my own hours. As long as I work eight hours a day, I can come in at any time from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Lucky you! Paul, did you find a summer job yet? Yeah, I'm working in a restaurant. Oh, how's it going? Oh, the money's not bad. What are you doing? Are you waiting tables? I wish. No, I'm working in the kitchen. I cut up stuff for the chef vegetables and meat and things. I also wash the dishes. Oh, yuck. Yeah, it's pretty hard work. I didn't realize how hot it is in a restaurant kitchen until I took this job. So why don't you quit? I'd love to, but I need the money. So what kind of job did you find for the summer? I'm working for a marketing company. I'm doing telephone marketing. Oh, so you're one of those people who drives me crazy by calling me up and trying to persuade me to buy something that I have absolutely no need for. Exactly. Do you like it? Believe it or not, I do. It's mostly a bunch of students working there. And we have a lot of fun when we're not making calls. It's really easy, too, since we just have to read from a script. Are you doing this full time? Yeah, but I work from 2 in the afternoon until 11 at night. So I get to sleep as late as I want to in the morning. Okay. Did you pay attention? Yes. 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 Okay, yes. nice. Now, can you tell me where does Carlos work? Where does Carlos work? He's, wo He's, He's work? working as, as a tutor in a learning center for kids. He's working as a tutor. In a learning center kid, for kids. Yes, Excellent. for kids. Yes. Now, what kind of activities does Carlos do there? What kind of activities does Carlos do there? They work on subjects they need help in math and English. Yes. And he teach, this is another, he teach math in English. Yes. Oh, and English. I, uh, and English, I understand. In English. Yes. In English. And. Ah, and. Math and ah, yeah. okay and English. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> now number three. Is Carlos work hard? Is Carlos works hard? Yes. Yes. Can you tell me why? The question is, is 
Carlos. Carlos work hard. This is the question. What is the answer? Yes, why? I think so. He worked uh, as a chef in a restaurant. Yes. His work as a, as a chef is, is complicated. But his work as a, as a tutor is interesting or no? Yes. Yes. His job as a tutor is interesting. And the other one? is hard okay now uh, with whom does carlos prefer to work with kids or with adults can you tell me please with whom does carlos prefer to work this is the question with whom Does Carlos prefer to work? Okay. With with kids or or with adults? Can you tell me please? He with kids. With, with kids. kids. Yes, I agree with you. He prefers to work with kids. Excellent. Now, where does she works? Where does she works? The conversation was with Carlos and, and a girls, right? Where is she works? She's working at the performance. She she working for a marketing for a marketing company did you listen to the information she work she's working for a marketing she's working for a marketing company in what kind of activity does she do there What activity? Did you listen? She doing what? She doing? Okay, let us start again. The last part. Hey, math guys, how hot it is in a restaurant kitchen and the money. So what kind of job did you find for the summer? I'm working for a marketing company. I'm doing telephone marketing. Oh, so you're one of those people who drives me crazy by calling me up and trying to persuade me to buy something that I have absolutely no need for. Exactly. Do you like it? Believe it or not, I do. It's mostly a bunch of students working there, and we have a lot of fun when we're not making calls. It's really easy, too, since we just have to read from a script. Are you doing this full time? Yeah, but I work from 2 in the afternoon until 11 at night, so I get to sleep as late as I want to in the morning. Okay, another question. Is her job difficult or hard? 
No, it's easy. It's easy. Yes. It's easy. Her job is easy. Okay. Now, I invite you if you need listening again, this information doing in the platform. Okay. Ahí en la plataforma ustedes pueden escucharlo todas las veces que quieran los, los listening. Por eso es importante que entren y escuchen todos los listening todas las veces que ustedes quieran. ¿Ya? Para que saque conclusiones. Now, do you have any questions for this listening? ¿O can I, eh, can I continue? Teacher, in the me? second sentences, I think so is he teaches. He teaches. Mm -hmm. Ah, because yes. Because he's three person. Yes, the third person. Excellent. He teaches math and English. Excellent. Another? Or do you have another opinion? No se me queden calladitos. Remember that we are, we are in English class and your participation is very important. No tenga miedo a equivocarse. Todos nos equivocamos. Pero si no trata de, 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 de interactuar, le va a ser más difícil, right? The idea is to talk in English class. ¿Ya? Yeah? Vaya, entonces yeah. continuamos. Tell me. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then continue with the second audio. This is a video. This is the our another topic. Could could you do me a favor? Could you do me a favor? What is the meaning of this question? Could you do me a favor? Podrías hacerme un favor. Yes, about favors. ¿Podrías hacerme un favor? This is the question. Now, here, I need your complete attention. I put this video and you pay attention and try to write. Write the most important information to you and pay attention, please. This audio is a little long. Okay. Could you do me a favor? Let me see. And try to analyze the ideas. Rachel, I am so glad you're home. I was wondering if you could help me out. Yeah. What's up, Anne? I need a big favor. My boss just called and he wants me to go out of town this afternoon to meet with a client. That's great. Yeah, my parents are out of town too. And my little sister Megan is staying with me. Would you mind if she stayed with you tonight? I could pick her up tomorrow by 10. Uh, no, I don't mind at all. Uh, what time did you want to bring her over? How about now? <laughs> Hi, Megan. Did you want to spend the night here? Okay. Great, uh, but I have a report to work on tonight. Don't worry, we planned ahead. She brought her homework. She'll keep herself busy. Fantastic. I, I have to run. Thanks a million. Oh, you're welcome. Bye, Meg. Have fun, but do your homework, okay? Don't worry, Ann. I will. Bye. What grade are you in, Megan? Eighth. Hey! You've got the Twilight movies. Can we watch them? Uh, sure, but I think you should do your homework first. Okay. Good. Uh, you can work in here. I have some work to do, too, so I'm going to go to my office. Okay. the homework coming? Good. I did half of my math problems. That's good, but you still have some more work to do. You can watch the movie when you're done, okay? Rachel! Yes? I'm done. Is it okay if I watch
watch the movie now? Yes. down a little bit? What? Could you please turn down the volume? Oh. Thank you. I'm starving. Could I have something to eat? Uh, it's only four in the afternoon. So? Um, okay, how about some carrot sticks and an apple? What else have you got? I have some strawberries and whipped cream. Anything else? Okay, how about a pizza? I have one in the freezer. Plain? I think it's a veggie pizza? That sounds good. I love this part. I know. It's so romantic when Edward tells her he loves her. Does he stay with her? You mean you've never read any of the books or seen the movies? No, I was too little. But I'm old enough to understand them now. Can we watch the second movie after this one's over? I have a better idea. <laughs> Anybody home? Oh, good morning. Good morning. What's going on here? We stayed up late reading Twilight. I loved it when Bella first dreamed about Edward. Oh, me too. The part where Jacob appears? Wow. We must have lost track of time. We ought to get going, Megan. All right, I'll grab my stuff. These books are the best. Would you mind if I borrowed this one? Oh, no, go ahead. Thanks. You two really seem to hit it off. How'd you do it? I guess a good book can still bring people together. Okay. Vieron todo, verdad? Se veían las imágenes? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Now. What's your opinions about the about this audio? Did you like it? Yes. Yes. It, uh, it was interesting. Yes, because, it was. <laughs> because she, she, she need your she need her friend take care in her daughter. Yes. More opinions. Did you enjoy the audio? Opinion? It's history. Yes. Uh, do friends? Yeah. Um, Megan. Um, <laughs> se me escapó el otro nombre, teacher. Por favor. Jen. Era Megan. Yes. Jen. Yeah. Oh. Okay, what are the names of the participants in the in the conversation? Jane, Megan, 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 Rachel, Megan, Rachel, and Jane. Jane. Yes, Megan, Rachel, and Jane. They are the participants of the conversation. Now, let me see. Here, okay. Megan, Rachel, and Jen. Second question. What kind of favor did Jen ask Rachel? What kind of favor did Jen ask Rachel? Takes care. Takes care. Take care. 
Who? Her daughter. Her daughter. Daughter. She asked her, her. She asked her to take off her. Her daughter. Megan, right? Yes, yes Megan. No? Yes. She asked her to take off her daughter, Megan. This is the answer. Now, can you tell me what, what favors, what favors did you listen in the audio or in the conversation? What favors? I have six. Volunteer? Not, not. She need to work away. Yes, yes, work away. But, but what kind of favor she asked to, to Rachel? In the first, Yen come to the Rachel house and ask her some favors. Can you tell me what when she, when she tell when she tell her daughter uh, did did her homework? Did her homework? Okay. Here's the the first one. This is the first one. Would you mind? She said. Would you mind if she stayed? with you tonight this was the first one she asked or she said would you mind if she stayed with you tonight this was the first which the second the second was could you turn could you turn that down a little bit a little bit this was the second what about number three Can you tell me another? And she, she, could you, could you, could you do could her you do homework? Her homework. Doing, doing her homework. Now, in number three. In number three. I listened this one. What could you please here turn down the volume? Did you remember? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Yes. Because okay, what could you what could you please turn down the volume? And she said yes, right? Now, another, number four. I listen. Can I have something to eat? Can I have something to eat? ¿Recuerdan cuando le preguntó ella que si tenía algo de comer porque le dijo que tenía hambre, right? Yes, yes. Dijo, I'm starving. Starving, it means hambrienta. Mm -hmm. This, this, this. Let me see, starving, here. Starving, starving. Starving, it means hambrienta. Okay. This is for your, for your vocabulary. Okay. Starving. It's new for me, it is new for me. Yes, it is new. Hambrienta, mm -hmm. okay. Now, here, can I have something to eat? And number five. Can we watch 
the second movie. Movie. The second movie after this. Homework. After these ones. Ah. Over. Okay. Can we watch the second movie after this one's over? And in the last one is. Would you mind if I borrow this one? Okay, this one. These are some questions that I listened in the video. Would you mind, can you repeat please after me? Would you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind? Again. Again, would you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind? She stayed with you tonight. If, if she stayed with you tonight. If she, if she stayed with you tonight. Second, could you turn that down a little bit? A little bit. Number three. What could you please turn down the volume? What, what could, could you please, please turn, turn down, down the volume? The volume? <laughs> Number four. Can I have something to eat? Can I have something to eat? Five. Can we watch the second movie after this one's over? Can, Can we watch, watch the second movie after, after this one's over? Again. Again, can you can we watch the second movie after this one's over? Can we can watch the second movie after this one's over? This one over. And the last one. Would you mind if I borrow this one? Would you mind if I borrow this one? Okay. And then after this nice audio. We will continue with the grammar information about the favors. Let me see. Okay. Here Hola, we perdón. have requests Hola. with modals, if clauses, and gerunds. But here, me van a preguntar algo. Sí, yo yeah. quería preguntar algo en las. En las... En las sí. frases anteriores, en la tercera, sí. ¿cuál era el significado? Ok, ahorita vamos a ver eso para que no, para que no se me vaya a confundir. Lo que quería era que usted analizara el, el video y ahorita vamos ya con eso. Dice, aquí le dice, ah, en la número 5, ¿verdad? No, no, número 3. Ah, la 3. What could you please turn down the volume? Le dice, eh, ¿te molestaría bajarle el volumen? Turn down es bajar. Es que el, el inicio no lo no entendía, el what could. Era Ajá, como, what ¿qué could. ¿Qué podrías? Ajá, what yeah. could, perdón. Sí, es que ahorita vamos ya con eso. Por eso okay. que quería ponerle esa, porque la parte de la estructura es, el could significa podría. Uh -huh. Entonces acá uh -huh. le dice, ¿podrías bajar el volumen? Ya, pero por, aquí se podemos utilizarlo con el what y sin el what. Ok, gracias. Yeah. Ok, you're welcome. Now. Another question? No? Okay. Here, this is an important question, an important topic. Request with models, if clauses, and gerunds. I, I send you an uh, extra materials about if clauses. Did you, did you see the information? Or did you read the information? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Lo demás? Yes. What about the rest? Vieron la información extra que les mandé acerca de los if clauses? Yes. yes. I see you at yes. yesterday. Okay. 
Vaya, esa es la información extra que les envío, es porque les va a servir mucho, porque estos temas tienen eh, bastante grado de, dif de dificultad. Entonces, a veces es bueno verlos uno por uno, por eso es, por lo, ese tema de los if clauses es un poquito complicado, por eso se los envía aparte, porque ahora lo vamos a utilizar y me parece que les puse un poco de que lo íbamos a utilizar. Es para que, que lo lean y traten de hacer ejercicios con lo que les mando, right? It's a good okay. idea. Okay. Now, first, we have here models. Now, what is the meaning of models? And what is the meaning if clauses and gerunds? Here. Here we have the first, the first that is models. Models are auxiliary verbs that are used together with the main verbs of the sentence. They are auxiliary verbs that are used together with the main verbs of the sentence. This verb shows possibility, intention, ability, or necessity. Now, What is the meaning of if clauses? If clauses, they express a situation or condition and its possible outcomes. Dice que expresan una situación o condición para un posible resultado y su posible resultado. Esas son las if clauses. Now, what is the meaning of models? Is it clear the meaning? Los modales, ¿le entienden acá o se los explico en español? Yes, teacher, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, it's okay. It's okay. Thanks. Now, gerunds are verbs forms uh, ending in ing. Are verbs forms ending in ing that names activities and are replaced in the sentence in which a noun is used. Tell me one example uh, with Yerun. Tell me uh, one sentence using Yerun. One sentence. Um, I, I, I coming. Oh, I eating uh, my uh, dinner's uh, potatoes. I eat um, potatoes. Um, chicken and salad. Potatoes and chicken salad. Okay, and then in this case, what is the, what is the verb in gerund? Eating. 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 Yes. Yes, because it's in the moment. It's an action that is in the moment. Yeah? Eating yeah. is the year. Now, here, eating. Now, do you have any question for this? For this information? No? Okay. Now. Remember that after class you can download the 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 video about about our class and you can take notes too. Now here we have less formal and more formal. What is the meaning of can? Can it means well. well. Poder, puede, 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 yes, puede o podría. Here, they are auxiliaries, and can, could, it is okay if, do you mind if, would it be okay if, would you It's mind if, yes, they are auxiliaries, all of them are auxiliaries. Mm -hmm. In number one, can I borrow your pencil? What is the meaning of borrow? Prestar. Borrow, borrow. Yes, borrow, it means prestar. Can I borrow your pencil? 
Yes, I can. Yes. Or can yes, I borrow? I can. can I borrow your your cell phone? No, right. Yes, I <laughs> no, no, I can't. No, no, it I can't. Depends. It depends. It depends the person, right? Yes. My husband never. Never. Oh never for never. <laughs> okay. Can I borrow your pencil? Yeah, okay. Now, second, would you lend me a jacket? What is the meaning of lend? Prestarme, prestarme. Prestarme. Yes, prestarme. Could you lend me a jacket? Dice, ¿podría prestarme una chaqueta? Yes, ¿podría prestarme una chaqueta? Now, what is the meaning? Um, y en, la, en el primero, ¿cómo sería? En Spanish. ¿Puedo, puedo tomar, tomar su lápiz? ¿Puedo o tomar me prestas su lápiz? Su lápiz? ¿O me puedes prestar tu lápiz? ¿O me podrías prestar tu lápiz? Yes. Y en el segundo sería, could, ya sería, ¿me podría prestar su chaqueta? Could you lend me a jacket? What about number three? It is okay if, it is okay if. Vaya, acá, así como les decía en la clase pasada, que la clave es, esto que está en más negrito, mire, usted se va a aprender de memoria qué significa. Todo lo que está en negrito porque esos son los modals. Y a esto se le vamos a agregar lo que ya les voy a mencionar. Vaya, todo lo que están así en negrito son los modal verbs. Y this one, is it okay if, dice, is it okay if I use your cell phone or your phone? Y, is it okay if, what is the meaning of? Dice, estaría es, bien, está bien, está bien, está bien, está bien, si uso su teléfono. tu teléfono. Ya, yeah. aquí va incluyendo la if clauses, la if significa sí, significa sí. Dice, is it okay if, dice, eh, está bien si, sí. eso significa si quiere tome nota. Please, this okay. is very important. Is it okay if significa está bien si? Sí? Está bien si? Sí? Vaya, aquí está la pregunta. Mire, it is okay if I use your phone. Está bien si sí uso su teléfono? Ya, yeah. it is okay if I use your phone. Está sí. bien si sí uso su teléfono? Now, number, number four. Do you mind if, do you mind if, eso dice, ¿te importa si? Would you mind if, ¿te importa si? O ¿te importaría oh. si? ¿Ya? Yeah. ¿Te importa si? Do you mind if I use your CD burner? Do you mind if I use your CD burner? What is the meaning of this, this question? ¿Te importaría, ¿Te importaría si uso tu si uso grabadora de CDs? Yes, ¿te importaría si uso eh, su, el CD quemado, verdad, Barney? Es cuando queman un CD. ¿Ya? El quemador de CD. Sería. El quemador de CD. El quemador yeah. de CD. Si uso el quemador de CD. Ya. Yeah. Excellent. What about another one? Would it be okay if... Would it be okay if? What is the meaning? Te Would importaría be... si? Te importaría si? Yeah. Te importaría si? I pick it up on Friday night. Te si importaría paso el día si? viernes. Si te noche. recojo. Si te recojo. Pick ah, up si te y recojo. Te recoger. Si yeah. te okay. recojo un, vier... un viernes en la noche. El viernes en la noche. El viernes en la noche. Yes, el viernes en la noche. Viernes. Oh. Yes. It's like an appointment, right? For Friday. Would it be okay if I pick it up on Friday night? Now, next one. Would you mind if? Would you mind if? It means, ¿te importaría si? Sí? ¿Te importaría si? Sí? Would you mind if? ¿Te importaría si I borrowed your digital camera? 
si me prestas no, tu cámara. Te importaría si tomara, tomara. La, tu cámara. Ajá, si tomara, si tomara. tu cámara digital. Tu cámara digital. Yes. Yeah. Es, de, es como un futuro, ¿verdad? Tomara. Yes. Si yes. tomara. Ya, yeah, pero ya le, ya le voy a explicar. Dice dice a... Dice esa, uh, y sin paz. The verb oh, is okay. sin paz. Yes, y sin paz. Yes, because at the end we have ed, and then it's the past. Yes. Yeah. In the in the the material, in this material, about if clauses explain some when it's past. Okay. Now, another. Would you mind? Would you mind? It's Te importaría también. Would you mind letting me use your laptop? What is the meaning? Would you mind letting me use your laptop? ¿Te importaría si ocupo tu laptop? Si me prestas o si me. Oh. O si me... Si me dejaría usar. Si me ah, usar. usar. Ya, yeah. si me dejaría, porque let significa dejarme, dejarme. Y le agregamos el ing, right? Let me, ya. Yeah. Aquí en este, en este gerundio estamos utilizando la regla donde dice que si hay una, una vocal antes de la consonante, agregamos, le agregamos la misma letra, doble, le ponemos w le, consonant. el w, w consonant plus ing, right? Yes. And then, would you mind letting me use your laptop? ¿Me dejarías usar? ¿Te importaría si uso su laptop? Yeah? Would you mind if? Now, I wonder if. I wonder if. What is the meaning of I wonder is? Sería maravilloso. O... Yeah. Yes, o también podría ser como podría. I wonder if. I could borrow some money. Mm -hmm. I wonder if. If I could borrow. Podría tomar money. algo de dinero. Yes, ahí le dice que si, que si le importaría, si le puede, si le puede prestar dinero. Prestar algo de dinero. Algo de dinero, algún dinero. Ya. Yeah. Another. I was wondering okay. if you'd mind. I was wondering if you you'd mind. Ahí le dice. Wondering. Me preguntaba si, sí. yes, el I was wondering, I was wondering, is, me preguntaba si, sí. I was wondering if, me preguntaba si. Sí. Podrías okay. prestarme tu carro. Podrías dejarme tu carro. Dejarme tu carro. Yes, lend me o lend him. Ya. Yeah. Esto es lo, lo primordial para que pueda hacer las oraciones, aprenderse esto de memoria. ¿Ya? This is the clue. Now, here we have a characteristics of modal verbs. These characteristics are, first, do not conjugate because they are auxiliaries. ¿Ya? And it's different with, with another verbs. In other, number two, after a modal verb, there is always a verb in infinity form without the two. Aquí significa, aquí tenemos, we have a, one example, example. You can eat. Here we have two verbs, can and eat. Okay, can and eat. Usually, when I talk about two verbs, usually I put two plus infinitive. For example, I want, I want to, to play basketball. I want to play basketball here. We have infinitive because I have two. El infinitivo siempre lo ocupamos para separar dos verbos, right? Aquí tengo right. dos verbos, el want y el play. 
Dice, yo quiero jugar básquetbol. I want y play son verbs. Both are verbs, right? Yes. Y el tú lo utilizamos para separar los verbos. Pero en este caso, como es un auxiliar, no vamos a agregar el to. Por eso dice without the to. The teacher, este, but after the verb models, the uh, model verbs never use infinitive to. Yes, never. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, in number three, number three is express certainty, ability, need, willingness. And obligation. This is the characteristic of modal verbs. Now, here we have our first examples. Exercises. Would you mind help, helped, or helping me paint on Saturday? By aquí. Les voy a explicar algo más importante acá también. Ok. Aquí es, es una, una, una clave que es, es muy importante. Es que después de del after mine, aquí, cuando lleva mine, siempre el, el otro verbo va a ser en gerundio, en la forma de gerundio. Here we have this example. Do you mind if? Do you mind if? Here, let me see. Would you mind if? After mind. Okay. Would you mind if? Here we have in gerund. Here. Oh. Would you mind learning? This one is okay. Would you mind? But first one. Here with is it okay if here we have the present the present right because the verb is in present and then when you no se usaría when you ing talk, no when you use this is it okay if always you put the verbs in present like here the same when you use can or could as an auxiliary. You use the present verb. Next verb is in present, in present form. Like this, can I borrow? Can you learn? It is okay if I use verbs yes. are in present. Now, next one. Do you mind if I use here, the verb is the same in present. Do you mind if? But when you use, would it be okay if, with this auxiliary always, you use the, the past present? Yeah, the past present, the past verb. Here, would it be okay if I picked? It up, pick it up. El verbo basa siempre en pasado. When you use this auxiliar, would it be okay if the verb is in past? The same, this one. Would you, would you mind if, look this, the verb is in past. I borrowed. Always the verb is in past. Now, would you mind letting me? In this case, with would you mind the verb is as a yerun, with ing. Would you mind letting? Would you mind letting me use your laptop? When you use this auxiliary, would you mind always the verb, next verb is in yerun, with ing. Now, in this case, I could borrow because you use could and then the verb is in present. And in this one, I was wondering if you'd mind 
Again, the verb is singeron. With this auxiliar, I was wondering if you'd mind lending me your car. Is in Yerun too. Now, continued with this exercise. In number one, please choose the best answers. Would you mind, would you mind, helped, helped? or helping me pain on Saturday? And this is the answer. No, I don't mind. I'm not doing anything then. Okay, would you mind help, helped, helping me pain on Saturday? Helping me, helping. 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 Would you mind? Would, with, with you, would you mind? No, it's help. Yes. Help is the present. Here's the present. Help. In past is help. help. Yes. Help, help. help is the present. Helping is in helping. In, in, Jerun. In, Jerun. in Jerun. Okay. Would you mind? If I say only, would you mind? Helping. Is in Jerun, right? In Jerun yes. is. In general, you mind? Would you mind helping me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. In general, yes. And then it's in general, helping me. Helping me. Okay. What about number two? I was wondering I could, if I could, if I would borrow or you gold earrings? Sure, that's fine. Just don't lose them. I was wondering if I could. 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 Yes. If I could. Yes. If I could. I could. If I could. Now, number three. It is okay if would. Do you mind or use your cell phone? No problem, but can you keep it short? Okay, what is the correct answer? If is it okay? Is it okay if? Okay. Do you mind? Okay. Is it okay? Is it okay? Is the correct? Is it okay? Is it okay if? En lo demás, ¿verdad? I say. Yeah. Like here and then here. Now in number four. Would you mind if I use using used your car to pick up some groceries? Sorry, but it's not working. It's at the mechanics. Okay. Would you mind using? If I use it. Use it. The use. third one. Use. Let me and see. Use. Would you mind if I use? If I use mm -hmm. Would you mind use if I are use? Using, teacher? Use. Let me see. Would you mind? Is a number. Let me see. Number four. 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 The number four. Yeah, I mean, number four. Would you mind if I use what? If I use used, used to use, 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 borrow. Use. Can be in present, right? Use it. Can present. be in present or in past. If I, if I use it. Past. Yes. Past. yes, in past. Use. Past. Used. Yes. And the last one, number five. Could you lend, lending, or lend me your suit for a wedding? Of course, but you should dry clean it first. Lending. 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 Could you? No. Could you? We could. Could you? Lend. 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 Use present, right? Lend. Yes. Lend. Lend. Lent. Excellent. Now, here, 
Len. Okay. Tomorrow we will continue with this, this important topic. Yeah, but I need read the information that I, that I'll send you about okay. if closes because they are we have a different topic that that are a little hard and then it is important to read more information and don't don't forget read the or don't forget study the class on the platform please okay teacher. Yes? and then okay if you have any okay. doubt let me know okay Okay, okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. See you, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a nice night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night.